Yeah. You know, digitally, I saw on just on the digital platform of the broadcasters. Forget TV. They they actually TV give you more numbers than digital now. Also, it was one point five crore people watching that match, right? <laughs> So I can imagine, yeah. insane. the numbers were insane. I think the broadcasters must be very happy. The fact that they played the match next day, the whole match on on Diwali, they they replayed it. So, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> they will play it every Diwali, believe me. You know, because uh, I mean, if you yeah. talk about the rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, the Ashes, you know, I mean, I don't think the Western world realizes the impact of an India-Pakistan fixture. Because politically they are, you know, at loggerheads, and um, the only thing they can resolve is on the cricket pitch. So I mean, it's not just a game of cricket; it's it's much more than that. People take it personal. You know, if India lose and or Pakistan lose, they start blaming each other and all that. Ashdeep Singh, when he dropped that easy catch against Pakistan, yeah. I think mean, his house was nearly burned down in India. You know, and then the guy yeah. comes and takes two brilliant gets Babar Azam and Rizwan. You know, so I mean, bowled superbly. So I mean, it, it mm. was a great game. It was a great game of cricket. Both sides played in good spirit, and that, that's that's yeah. the most important thing. You know, cricket benefited from 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 this wonderful thing. And I'm so glad to hear that there were no riots afterwards or no bad losers as such. Although Pakistani fans feel that they were robbed to a certain extent, but certainly it didn't come out in public or anything, which is which is great. I congratulate. Both the Pakistani and the Indian fans for that. You know, it was a great game of cricket. You'll never see one like that again. Absolutely. Who knows? And they could play the finals again. You don't know.